What's going on guys, T Torres back here for another video. Man, had a week off, had to go TDY summer, but now I'm back in front of the camera. I'm gonna bring you guys some more, uh, some more content, but today's video is gonna involve the truck. The wrap is still on the car. I'm just honestly just being super lazy. That is coming off soon. Before the end of the year, I promise you the wrap's gonna come off. All right, so today's project, uh, what we're gonna be doing, all right, come on, bring some light to the lens. So what we're gonna be doing in today's uh, video, we're gonna be taking off these nasty uh, uh, kick panels for like, you know, when someone opens the door. That's my test side. I wanted to make sure it was gonna work before I showed the process. So what I'm doing is we're gonna be removing these panels. And as you can see, there is a lot of nasty guck behind um, behind those panels. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna show you on the driver's side, I took 20 pound uh, fishing line and kind of sawed it uh, you know, up and down. And yeah, they came off real fine. There's The back side isn't as dirty as the front side. So I'm guessing some of these pieces were loose and water and crap and stuff was always running down it. So this is what I used. Um, 20 pound fish line. I think I scored that at Walmart for two bucks. This, on the other hand, one inch 3M adhesive remover was like 40 bucks. So I'm hoping just one of these wheels is gonna be good enough to uh, take off all of this crap. So I'm gonna clean this area, uh, you know, prep the area real good, get all this mud and debris off because it's really, I mean, you can see right here, it just flakes right off. So I'm gonna prep the surface, uh, clean all that up, and then we're gonna bring the wheel in, eat all that off, and then we're gonna take my, uh, my buffer and then we're gonna see, we're gonna polish this out and make everything look good. I think for now, I'm gonna keep the badges, but I'm excited to get that off. Um, I think maybe in the future I'm gonna take those off. I do not know yet. So uh, this week, you're gonna get two videos. Um, you're gonna get the video that, that I'm just gonna go live before this one. It's gonna be the DSP5, EFI, EFI Live, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and go to the driver's side and I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to take, uh, or how to remove this with the 20 pound fishing line. All right guys. I know you can't really see this on camera, maybe a little bit, but I cut me off maybe a three foot section of 20 pound fishing line. What you're gonna do is kind of get in there like you're gonna floss your teeth, pull it up about half and half, and you're literally just gonna take it and saw it back and forth. Just like that. And as you can hear, it's eating that adhesive away. Smell it. It's hot. So as you can see, or it's starting to come off. So just continue to do this for the you know full full length. And being that I did the passenger side, it is going to wear out that forearm. All right, guys, so as you can see, it's now off. Um, I'm going to call one of my paint buddies and ask what all this bubbling stuff is. I don't know if it's safe to uh, buff over that. If I'd actually, like, eat the paint. I don't know why it's like that. It's not like that on the passenger side. It's unfortunate that it's like that on the driver's side. So I don't know what would have caused it to bubble up like that. I don't know if that was something from the factory or what, but I'm gonna be cautious about buffing and taking this adhesive off, make sure I'm not busting those bubbles. That's really, really upsetting, but we'll get it fixed. So now 
let's get on to uh, taking this last trim piece off on this side and then we'll go over to the passenger side and I'll show you how the 3M eraser is going to work and I do highly recommend getting gloves because this stuff is going to get hot the actual fishing line gets very hot Alright, so as you just saw, this panel is now done. Paint looks fine. I'm still a little concerned at why this paint, it'll focus, why it's bubbled up like that. That looks disgusting. So I'm a little worried. So I'm going to wait on my paint guy to answer back some questions. And then, so let's go ahead and go to the passenger side and get it all cleaned up and start removing uh, all of this adhesive stuff. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and spray this area down, get it nice and moist because I don't wanna scratch the paint, even though I'm gonna come back with a buffing wheel and maybe polish it, compound it, depending on how bad it is. So I got the area nice and wet. Let's go ahead and get, get some of this years and years of gunk off. Dang, that is disgusting. coming right off so that's that's a good thing I'm still a little puzzled as to why the uh, why the other side on the driver side driver door the paint is bubbled up that's got to be a that's got to be a defect from the factory All right. Get that one done let's go ahead and dry it all off. And that crap's nasty. So that was just uh, some waterless wash from Chemical Guys. I'll have to take this out and wash the rest of it tomorrow in the daylight. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the do the passenger side, and I'll catch back up with you guys in just a second. All right, guys. So. I do, I would probably recommend getting a, a corded drill, not a cordless. I'm having to start and stop a bunch of times um, to, uh, you know, to charge the battery, put a new one on. But here's what we got so far without the buffing wheel and just the eraser part. So now I'm going to move on to this side of the passenger door. And I'm going to show you guys how, how I'm doing this with this 3M remover wheel. It's actually doing a, a pretty good job and I'm actually impressed. I just hope this wheel lasts the entire uh, four doors. This is what I found to work best for me. Turn the drill upside down and just press it up against the paint. Try not to stay in one area too long. You don't want to eat up the actual clear coat. All right, so as you just saw, we took the actual eraser to the door. Let's go ahead and see what we got here after we wipe this off. So yeah, that eraser works pretty good. I'm actually gonna go get some uh, goo off once I get down to this. I'm gonna take me a microfiber cloth and see if I can't get the rest of that. I'm gonna get as much as I can with actual wheel, but of course we do have our work cut out for us. So uh, once I get this side of the door done, I will check in with you all and, uh, and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna shine all the rest of this up. So that side came out really good. As you can still see the outline of the actual, uh, where the panel was, but I'm pretty sure that I can get that off uh, with my polishing wheel. So, all right, I'm going to get back to uh, getting this off, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys here in just a little bit.
As it sits, as you can see, this is what the uh, passenger side looks like. Uh, it's about as good as it's going to get uh, with the eraser wheel. Okay, here's the other side. That one came out really good with just the eraser wheel. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the polisher and some uh, chemical guys um, cutting polish and we're going to go ahead and make it make it look like none of this happens. Hopefully we can erase uh, even more even more of that stuff off because the goal is obviously to get it 100% off. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, got the cut and polish all on the wheel. Let's go ahead and dab it in this area. All right, so that was the first uh, first pass with the cutting polish. That did uh, that did really really well. So we're gonna do that a few more times, or however many times it's gonna take to get uh, to get all the residue out. So as you can see, still got a little bit of line here, here, and here. So we're gonna go ahead and go over a couple more times, make a few more passes, and uh, yep, see what, see what we can do. All right, guys. So just to give you a little comparison. Here's the side that's not buffed, and then here's the side that is buffed. It is almost 100% gone. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and start on this side and get all get all of this side off. But yeah, she came out really good. Can't even really see where the lines are anymore. So that polish definitely came in handy. I'm pretty uh, pretty impressed on how this came out can never even tell that that molding piece was there so now it's going to be on to the trouble side of the actual driver side that's going to be the fun part this side is looking rough so i talked to a few buddies and uh, i'm pretty much sol on this uh, moisture and a lot of stuff got built up back behind this panel or molding itself so i'm going to go ahead and remove all of this buff it out see what happens um and yeah i think i'm just going to end up having to get this get this door painted because i wanted to get the truck uh wrapped so definitely going to have to uh make sure all this is not there so unfortunate but we're going to make the best out of it make the best out of this situation as we can so i'm going to go ahead and get the eraser and start getting all this adhesive off and then uh, yep i'll show you guys uh the progress at once i get done with that man the driver's side was a chore now, unfortunately, uh, some of the spots, as you can see in the paint, did come up from the actual racer itself, but that's all right. I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get this door repainted, but the passenger side, driver side, or the driver side rear came out fine. All I gotta do is just buff out a few spots and, and it should look good as new. It's just that this is the upsetting part. I mean, this, this driver side was a lot worse. Um, I was thinking maybe I can find this exact same truck door and like a pull apart somewhere. That might be uh, that might be what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, polish or cut and polish all this stuff, and then uh, I'll show you what this looks like. I think this is gonna come out terrible, but oh well. Let's do it. Send it. All right, guys. So this side, this door right here, driver side rear came out great. So now it's on to, uh, I'm going to lightly uh, buff this one and try not to uh, take any more of this paint off. Alright guys, so here is how the driver's side with the messed up paint turned out. It actually doesn't look too terribly bad, but once you get close up on it, you can still see all the bubbles. And a little bit of clear actually came out on this door too. That's right, because you know what? It's a project truck, so we're learning. I actually found a, a couple doors online, a shell, so I'm gonna buy the shells, have them get painted, and maybe do something like that. But overall, you know, lesson learned, you never know. Never know what's gonna be behind that molding, but nevertheless, I think the truck and the body line looks a lot better now that it's cleaned up. So just to reiterate, um, we used 20 pound fishing line. You used the 3M uh, race 
adhesive eraser wheel. I'll show you how much is left. Not very much is left, as you can see. Um, I was a little bit worried that I wasn't going to be able to finish it all. And then uh, we used some cutting polish. I went ahead and actually polished um, from there down from where the molding was on both the sides of the truck. So, yeah. That is that. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Oh, also, if you guys have any suggestions, uh, if you're a diesel owner, um, what tip should I get for the uh, to complete my Flow Pro exhaust? Uh, see, I don't know if the lighting's going to be good enough, but yeah, I want to get a tip on this bad boy. So let me know what tip I should get. I'm thinking about getting a rolled uh, five to a six inch tip, and uh, I think I may have it. I don't think I may want it to come out a little bit more of the angle, or I don't know. I may just keep it like that. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for stopping into the channel. If you liked today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. I am trying to get more content out there for the truck. I have uh, also have my Honda. So yeah, hopefully I get new, uh, new truck viewers. But yeah, so please leave this video a like. Leave it a big thumbs up. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Back to my pulse flat, we keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black, got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin', doing this is my calling. Flow is so 